What's up everyone, I'm Coach D. Hey, thanks for supporting my page. We're at 55,000 subscribers, 100K by inauguration day. That's possible, right? Please keep liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my page. I really do appreciate you guys. So I think we might be watching the fall of the black conservative because we are now seeing the entire spectrum of how black conservatives are treated. So we saw that Tim Scott, Byron Donalds, Herschel Walker, Candace Owens, people like them have gone to bat for Donald Trump during this election cycle, right? I mean, we saw Tim Scott going all in on Donald Trump and helping him get elected. Then we saw Tim Scott being snubbed, and Byron Donalds as well, being snubbed by Donald Trump. Donald Trump chooses a cabinet, does not give, to give Tim Scott a position at all. So we've gone from they worked as hard as they could to get him elected, he snubs them, and now we're at a point where they're completely turning on him. Laura Loomer posted this picture of Tim Scott and said, I can't believe he actually posted this. You go to the comments on that post of Laura Loomer's and it's nothing but slurs about Tim Scott possibly being gay and Tim Scott being a rhino. So then someone posted, this is the actual picture. And it's actually a picture of him with someone else in a room. And then you go to Tim Scott's post of that picture as well. And there's nothing but more slurs about him being gay and about him being a rhino. So here are three in a row. The first one says the leg cross is giving off Lindsey Graham vibes because MAGAs also call Lindsey Graham gay. The next one says, where is your wife? And that's a question because MAGAs always said that Tim Scott only got engaged and married to prove to everyone that he wasn't gay so Donald Trump would approve of him. And then the last one says, my guy, Tim Scott, you got to stop sitting like that. What are you doing? Another play on him sitting like he is a gay person. And this goes on and on and on. And here's a few more in a row talking about the way he's sitting, saying, don't sit like that. You sit like a girl. It's okay to be gay. Just say it. I mean, it's absolutely disgusting the way that this guy's being treated. And again, I don't care about Tim Scott. He gets what he deserves. He fucked around. Now he's finding out. What I do care about is the young black teenagers and college students who are seeing a black man get treated this way by a party that he longs so much for their attention and approval. They're seeing racism firsthand and many of them may have thought it was getting better. And that's the thing that worries me the most. They also talk about him being a rhino though. And so again, Tim Scott, was front and center throughout Donald Trump's campaign trying to get him elected and they're still calling him a rhino. These two are pretty indicative of most of the posts about them calling him a rhino. One of them says, you guys better pass all of Donald Trump's agenda because the American people gave him a mandate. We didn't, but they like to say that. The next one says, oh yeah, you're cozying up to people who are going to try to stop Trump's agenda. You better not be a rhino. And they just go on and on about this. So what we have seen here is we've seen Tim Scott, Byron Donalds work their asses off to get Donald Trump elected. Donald Trump gets elected and then he ignores them. He picks a bunch of people for his cabinet and never gives them a call. Now you see the people who elected Donald Trump, the people who support Donald Trump, calling Tim Scott all types of epithets about his, his, his sexual preference or possibility of it, his, his him being a rhino, someone who, you know, a Republican in name only saying that he doesn't back Donald Trump. When we all saw him front and center trying to get Donald Trump elected. So yeah, black conservatives, y'all fucked around and now you're finding out, period. Don't want no enemies or ops. Envy in they heart, I tell them stop Vacation on the yacht